Hi. Hi, Class A. Happy Lord's Day. This is Teacher Sarah. I can't wait to teach you guys for the month of November, so I hope you guys all listen very carefully to the lesson and watch very carefully, too. Before we begin, what do we always do? That's right. Let's pray. And how do we pray? First, we're going to fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow your head, and repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you for this Sunday that we can come and worship you. We thank you that we can study the Bible and learn more about you. Help us to believe in you and to know how powerful you are. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who is all powerful too. So help us to listen and obey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great job, everyone. Before we begin this week's lesson, let's review Teacher Jane's lesson from last week. It's going to be a little fast, so just try to listen, okay, guys? Now, John was with two of his followers, and he saw Jesus walking by and said, Look, the Lamb of God. The two followers heard him say this, so they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw the two men following him, and he asked, What do you want? And they said, Rabbi, where are you staying? Rabbi means teacher. Jesus said, Come with me and you will see. So the two men went with him. They saw the place where he was staying and they stayed there with him that day. It was about four o'clock. These men followed Jesus after they had heard about him from John. One of them was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. The first thing Andrew did was to go and find his brother Simon. Andrew said to him, We have found the Messiah. The Messiah means Christ. Then Andrew brought Simon to Jesus. And Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas. Cephas here means Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He met Philip and said to him, follow me. Philip was from the town of Bethsaida, the, na the same as Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the man that Moses wrote about in the law. The prophets wrote about him too. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph, and he is from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Nazareth, can anything good come from Nazareth? And Philip answered, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said, this man coming is a true Israelite, one you can trust. And Nathanael asked, how do you know me? And Jesus answered, I saw you when you were under the fig tree before Philip told you about me. Then Nathanael said, Teacher, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus said to him, Do you believe this just because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You will see much greater things than that. Then he said, Believe me when I say that you will see all of heaven open. You will see angels of God going up and coming down on the Son of Man. So last week, Teacher Jane taught about how Jesus chose his disciples from the book of John. And today's lesson also comes from the book of John, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. And Jesus is going to do something very special. Jesus works his first miracle. So one day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Do you guys know what a wedding is? It's when a man and a woman called the groom and the bride come together and they get married and then they become husband and wife. Like this picture. This is teacher Sarah and Uncle Ron. We got married almost one year ago. And at this wedding, the mother of Jesus was there. Does anyone remember what Jesus' mother's name was? It was Mary. Jesus and his disciples also were invited to the wedding. You see, at weddings, adults sometimes drink something called wine. And at this wedding, the wine ran out. It was all gone. So then Jesus' mother said to Jesus, They have no wine. But Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. 
the hour that Jesus is talking about is when he's going to die on the cross. But it's not time for that yet. He's not going to tell everyone that he's the son of God. Not yet. He will later. So then his mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now, there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish rites of purification. And these water jars, they could hold 20 or 30 gallons of water. That's like one of those big trash cans that you might have outside that the garbage man picks up every week on his truck. And there were six jars this size. And Jesus said to his servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up with water all the way to the top. And he said to them, Now, pour some out and take it to the master of the feast. So the servants took it to the master of the feast. And when the master of the feast tasted the water that had now become wine, he did not know where it came from. So then the master of the feast called the groom remember, who's now the husband, and said to him, everyone serves the good wine first and then the bad wine. But instead, you've kept the good wine until now, at the end. So Jesus turned all that water, the six jars of water, into wine. How did he do that? He's God. Jesus is so powerful, and this was the first of his signs that Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and he showed his glories, and his disciples believed in him. Do you want to believe in Jesus too? You just need to pray and ask God to help you understand and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Now, last week, we had no memory verse, and this week, we don't have a new memory verse, but I wanted to review memory verses that we had in the past, and it comes from the book of Psalm, and it's going to be four different weeks of memory verse, but it's Psalm 101 through 5. So, if you guys still remember it, join me as we recite these verses. Let's begin. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Psalm 101 through 5. If any of you guys can repeat those five verses, Psalm 101 through 5, all together, I'm going to give you 10 pennies in your penny jar. Yes, you heard correctly, 10 pennies, if you can do all of those verses in Psalm, okay? Okay, everyone, I'll see everyone next week, but until then, have a safe week, and remember to obey your parents. Bye!